In this video, we'll be taking a look at a free-to-play weekend for a PlayStation 4 game that isn't the best, but it is a game that you might be interested in. You can also get some free Fortnite PSN avatars on the PlayStation Store right now, so we'll quickly take a look at those. Of course, E3 is right around the corner, so much news about that is coming out. BioWare has released a teaser for Anthem, and they're promising more content at E3. Yet another Warhammer title has been announced, so I want to quickly take a look at that as well, and then I'll be rounding out the video by taking a look at a pair of pretty good PlayStation 4 game deals. More on that at the end of this video. First, let's talk about the free-to-play PlayStation 4 game weekend. Metal Gear Survive was definitely not the best received game of this year. Far from it. It actually had a lot of controversy surrounding it as it had quite a bit of microtransactions. And generally, just speaking, Konami does not have the best relationship with gamers as of this point. But you do have the Metal Gear license attached onto it. Now, don't get it twisted. This is not like a Metal Gear game at all. It's a survival game that just has that Metal Gear name tacked onto it. So don't go into it expecting this exhilarating and engrossing story like a typical Metal Gear game. Go into it expecting a serviceable survival game. And at the end of the day, it is absolutely free to play, so you have nothing to lose by just checking the game out. It'll be free this weekend, and it'll be running until June 4th. You are going to need a PlayStation Plus subscription, and any progress you make will transfer over to the full game if you decide to buy it for whatever reason. I should also mention you can get the full game very, very cheap now. Yes, the game just released a few months ago. Go, but I've already seen it well below $20, so if you do end up enjoying it, maybe it's a game to check out. I know I'll probably get some hate for even suggesting that, so I'll just move right along. Fortnite is one of the most popular games on the PlayStation 4 right now. It's an absolute free-to-play title, however, it does have some microtransactions. But speaking of Fortnite and free, you can get eight free Fortnite PSN avatars on the PlayStation Store right now. That includes the AC avatar, the Cuddle Team Leader avatar, the Ken avatar, the Llama avatar, the Penny avatar, the Ramirez avatar, the Raven avatar, as well as the Tomato Head avatar. All of that is available on the PlayStation Store right now. You just have to add it to your cart and check out and you won't be charged a cent. So if you've been invested into Fortnite, maybe those avatars will also spice up your profile page. And it's just something to take a look at. It's absolutely free. So again, you have nothing to lose by at least adding them to your cart and checking out with them. Also, E3 season is in full effect and we are getting so much news. We covered a lot of news in today's earlier video, but now we've got more news as Anthony Anthem is going to have a big presence at E3. I don't think that comes across as too much of a shock, but EA did upload an EA Play teaser. It shows three seconds of Anthem, and it's a teaser for what's to come at E3, and they are promising a brand new trailer for the game. I imagine we'll see some live gameplay, hopefully. Anthem was originally scheduled for a release this year in 2018. Unfortunately, it has been delayed until 2019, but considering this is a brand new and very ambitious project coming from Bioware, I really can't blame them for that one. And remember that Bioware is still trying to wrestle off that stench that they have from Mass Effect Andromeda. A different team is working on Anthem, but the Bioware tag was attached to Mass Effect Andromeda, and that's just what people are thinking about when they think of Bioware. And Mass Effect Andromeda was not everyone's favorite game. So to rid of that memory, and the fact is Anthem is a brand new IP and first impressions are absolutely paramount with these kinds of games. You know Bioware is gonna wanna do a really good job with this title, and hopefully we see a significant amount of footage at E3. Oh, the scars have a heavy... Time to use that mortar. <laughs> Give me some covering fire. There's a bunch more coming in. Okay, I'll get this round. Moving on from that, a brand new Warhammer title, yet another one, in Warhammer Chaos Bane has been announced for PC and consoles. The game itself was announced by Big Ben Interactive and it's being developed by Echo Software who has worked on titles such as How to Survive and Rugby 8, so definitely a dramatic change of pace for them as it is an action RPG. All we have right now is a couple screenshots and it shows both a warrior and a magic user, so we don't know too much about the game, but a brand new action RPG is coming to the PlayStation 4, so that is something to be on the lookout for as well. 
well. The game currently doesn't have a release window, but hopefully we get it sooner rather than later, and as it is a PlayStation 4 and Xbox One title on top of a PC, I imagine we'll see it sometime in 2019. And finally, to wrap up this video, I do want to take a look at a pair of really good PlayStation 4 game deals available right now. One of them is a used game in Horizon Zero Dawn, the base game. That is available for $14.99 over at Gamefly. That's a great price for Horizon Zero Dawn. We just talked about the potential of a sequel being announced at E3 this year. I still think it's a little bit too soon for that, but Horizon Zero Dawn was a fantastic, fantastic game. A great new IP by Gorilla, and you know that there's going to be future entries in this franchise, as there is a lot to be fleshed out in the world of Horizon. It's a great open-world action-adventure game. Currently has an 89 on Metacritic, and for a new IP, an ambitious IP like this, that's a pretty great score. Also, we've got Burnout Paradise Remastered discounted to $24.99 over at Amazon. I was very vocal about the fact that Burnout Paradise to me was way overpriced at $39.99. Yes, it is a fantastic game, but this game released all the way back in January of 2008, over a decade ago. Maybe my complaints got hurt because this game has dropped in price rapidly. $24.99 already, and it just released a few months ago. This is a great price to pick up the game. Ideally, I would have liked to see the game be launched at $29.99, and I know that maybe Maybe I made too big of a fuss over $10, but that is a significant portion of the price, and it does make a reasonable difference, but now that it's down to $24.99, I could without a doubt give Burnout Paradise a recommendation, and this remastered version looks great. It's got a lot of DLC content, so this is absolutely a buy. If you're a fan of arcade racers, you're gonna have a great time with Burnout Paradise Remastered. $24.99 is an excellent price for that. So check out both of those games. If you've yet to check out Horizon Zero Dawn, you really can't go wrong with that for just $14.99, and Burnout Paradise Remastered, whether you've played the game and you want to revisit it or you just want an excellent arcade racer it's really got both of those audiences covered so that is going to wrap up this video let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below are you going to be checking out metal gear survive it is free to play this weekend yes not the best game in the world but a game that is free to play so you have nothing to lose speaking of free you can also get eight free fortnite psn avatars on the playstation store right now so if you've been on the fortnite grind reason to customize your profile and you can do so with the cost of nothing anthem will have a significant presentation at e3 we know we're going to be getting a brand new trailer and maybe we'll even get a release date announcement, a specific release date, because now it is scheduled for early 2019. Warhammer Chaos Bane has been announced for PC on consoles. We don't know much yet, but the two screenshots look promising enough. So looking forward to hear more on that. And then we've got two great PS4 game deals. Horizon Zero Dawn for $14.99 is great. And Burnout Paradise Remastered for $24.99. You can't go wrong with that. Both of those deals are worthwhile. Sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.